Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, September the 9th, and it's 9.26 a.m. Okay, I wanted to give you a report about Tricia and her husband out in Oregon. And there is a little, there is a picture here that I am presuming is her home. I see no flames, no smoke. She says, as you can see, it's much better this morning. Thank God. Slept with my phone on all night right beside me so I would hear any emergency notifications. Nothing came in. I got some sleep and awoke with a sense of peace this morning. Rather tired, so we'll try to rest more now. I knew you would be worried, so wanted to let you know what was happening. You could say I was concerned, but I wasn't worried. I don't know how many towns were lost. I will get on the computer and search out information later. Nothing I can do about it anyway. I know one entire town is definitely gone. People were in shock. I saw this on the late night news. We'll email you later after I get more information. A thousand thanks for all be the prayers. All the I think she added a B, but a, a thousand thanks for all the prayers, and she ends it with hugs. Okay, so I'll get a, a little snapshot of this, and you can see for yourself how these homes, I'm not sure which one would be hers, so I'll just get these two here, um, probably a could be this blue one. But anyway, you can see no flames, no smoke. And it's not real clear. It could be um, that th there's enough smoke in the atmosphere that it's grayed out like this. Or maybe rain clouds and it will rain later. That would be wonderful too. Sure is a big old electrical thing out there behind you though. Wow. Okay, we'll capture that. And thank you, everybody, for praying. I've been looking at the pictures of some of the areas. And one of these, she told me uh, where she lived like an hour from or... I want to say Orlando. No, where all the riots are. Or is it Orlando? No, I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's only nine thirty, and I'm tired. Okay. Um. She said like ten minutes from this place and thirty minutes from that place. So anyway, they were around her. And they had a plan which route they would take so, and what they would throw in the truck at the last minute. So um, I'm sure they're going to be fine. And I let us continue to pray for everyone else, those who have lost a home. Uh, I didn't see anything about deaths. Uh, I'm sure more reports will come in later like that, um, whether there are or none. There may be none. And I don't know about California. The ones I was looking at were titled something about Oregon. Okay, so we'll know more later about how it started how they think it started, they're calling them man started. Like someone threw a cigarette out their car window and it 
caught a uh, leaf on fire and the wind blew it. Something like that. Mm -hmm. That's that's what burnt down a whole town. I kind of doubt it. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go with that. Praise be to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for hearing our prayers and keeping those flames away from her little uh, suburban area, whatever you call this. Um, I think it's a mobile home park. Some of those that are made and set up for senior citizens, they are really nice. My first husband and I looked at a place... My dad was on the board of the Catholic, uh, like a credit union, and he was going to be able to get us a loan for it. But they wouldn't let us live there because we were under 21. Now, a lot of these places, you have to be 55 or older. So it was like, oh, we'd have to move it out of here, and it'd be... It was set up so beautifully. It was so beautiful. And to us, it was, you know, it would have been heavenly. Especially where he grew up. It would have been so nice. Anyway, we didn't get it. Probably for the best. And um, so anyway, I will talk to you later. God bless each and every one of you for praying. And uh, plead the blood of Jesus over us all, over everybody out there whose home is still intact. I pray for rain out there. I hope these are rain clouds forming as to why it's so gray in the sky. That's what I'm praying. And, um, and that no more homes are destroyed. I mean, uh, like one guy was saying, well, you know, first we get this COVID thing and it's like, you know, we're all, everything's changed because of that. And now this, it's like, and he had a good attitude about him, but still, you could, you know, some have lost their jobs, their businesses over COVID, you know, these little this building rents what probably used to be boutiques, probably one for ladies, one for men, where you could go buy clothes. You know, if you just got to town and you didn't have but brought clothes, maybe you hauled some furniture. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about, where hotels would have stores where you could go buy a tuxedo or a ball gown because this place is on the first floor has what was called the ballroom anyway that now they're uh what do you call it workout places uh, it's snap fit i think is they call it and they they grow. They grew to the point where they need both sides, and but but they're sitting there collecting dust. All that equipment they just put in to the other side. Not very many months ago, they opened the second side and put in more equipment, spread out what they had, so people had room to use the stuff, you know, flap their arms, <laughs> you know, take the weights and uh, they would do things, you know, and they had these big balls you roll around on, <laughs> all kind of stuff down in there. And it was, you know, there was always somebody in there. It didn't matter how late at night I would walk my dog, there was someone in there or several someones. But anyway, it's sitting there collecting dust because of covid that is just wrong. So whoever the owner was of that is just, what, he just, 
Well, he's putting his money into something else, I reckon. I hope. All right. Well, with that, I'll let you go, and I'll talk to you later.